What's up, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you Louisiana Tech. Can Skip Holtz lead them to a victory? They play Texas their first game. What a season. Let's get into it. Hold up, wait a minute. Kirk is rocking with Louisiana Tech over Texas, first game of the season. I cannot for the life of me understand how the heck Kirk thinks they're gonna win. Texas is better ranked overall, on offense, on defense, is a power five team. I just don't understand what the heck Kirk is thinking. And also, how is Texas starting the year unranked? ESPN would have a freaking field day. There's no way. There's just no way I can get behind Kirk's pick this week. Let's check out the rest of the season here. So we got Texas, UMass, Florida International, a couple FCS games, Tulsa, UTEP, UTSA. Then we got North Texas, Southern Miss, Tulane, and Rice. That's a very doable schedule for Louisiana Tech and Skip Holtz. I think they'll do fairly well. I really doubt they'll win the Texas game, though, so I do see at least one loss, if not two losses. Tulsa always shows up in these simulations. Let's check out how they do this season. Let's check out that next recruiting class and get into the simulation. Look at that 76 overall kicker, Casey Perry. Welcome to the Bulldogs. Also, we get locked out of our top recruit. We're still in a battle for 270 overall people. Michael Dubinsky, the best guy on our team in the recruiting class, 67 overall. We are here to wish Eric Coe good luck on beating out Jack Tompkins and whoever else is on the Louisiana Tech team for that starting quarterback spot, my man. They had a finalist for the Heisman? Holy crap, I can't wait to see this. They rushed for 2,000 yards. They had a list of award finalists 50 touchdowns five consecutive wins that means they did have a loss let's check out what happened in this season for the bulldogs though they lose a close one to texas only by three beat their next like four or five opponents like like a drum beat tulsa smash utep smash utsa lose by one point to north texas and then win their last three games They've got that FAU Conference Championship coming up, though. 7-5 and five FAU. Really not a bad year for Louisiana Tech. But can they beat FAU and the Fighting Lane Kiffins, our favorite meme squad in the CUSA Conference Championship? I think that's going to be a hell of a game. Lane typically comes into those ready to play. And, of course, he's Joey Freshwater. Can't expect much else from FAU. Louisiana Tech wins the CUSA West by a buttload. I mean, 7-1 and one in conference, going first in the CUSA overall. No one even touches double digits. Louisiana Tech, you are my pick for that conference championship game. Just kidding. Lane Kiffin, you might have a chance. Checking out the top 25 for the 2019 season. Alabama, number one overall, unanimous. Michigan, number two. LSU number three, South Carolina number four, and Stanford number five. That's a very solid top ten there. Three teams not in double-digit wins, but must have impressive wins. Lots of good conference championship games coming up, though. For the Heisman, Smith didn't win it. A.J. Turner from South Carolina wins it, 2,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, 500 receiving yards, 6 touchdowns. But how big is it to get Smith from Louisiana Tech in the top five of Heisman votes. That is one of the first times I've ever seen that. I've run 40 simulations and I've never seen Louisiana Tech have, have a guy in the top five. Holy crap. Congratulations, my man. Getting some well-deserved recognition. But Turner from South Carolina wins the Heisman. Louisiana Tech will play Hawaii in the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl in Honolulu. What a great trip for those Bulldogs. 7-5 on the season. I'm picking Louisiana Tech. Let's check out who Kirk thinks is going to win because I don't know. I think Louisiana Tech. Kirk picked Louisiana Tech over freaking Texas. Is he going to do the same? He did. Okay, so he does believe Louisiana Tech's going to beat Hawaii. I mean, but holy crap, look at those points per game. 
Number one in the country, number five total offense, and the defense is top 20 overall. Wow, what a pairing. Like, out of Louisiana Tech, you don't expect that from someone in the CUSA. What a year for the Bulldogs. That offensive rating is kind of misleading. Top five in the country. Man, I've never seen that. Hawaii typically is in the top five. Check out the rest of the top 25. We do see Alabama, Michigan for the national championship. 13-0 versus 11-2. What's going to happen in the national championship? My prediction, Alabama. They've been perfect all season. Michigan's lost two games. I, I, bet, I bet Alabama will win this national championship. Louisiana Tech smashes Hawaii 35 to 21, 21 to 10 at halftime, and still outscores them by one point in the second half. My man, my team, Louisiana Tech 11 and 3 on the year, double digit wins. You gotta love it if you're a Bulldog fan. I think any Bulldog fan would be happy with that result. They passed the ball, they ran the ball much better than Hawaii. Actually, Hawaii ran the ball best, but they didn't even pass for 100 yards. You can't win if you don't pass for yards, man. Hawaii, when did you become a running team? No turnovers, but as we scroll down here, we see 24 penalties between the two teams. What the heck is that? And Louisiana Tech lost the time of possession battle. Very interesting. Typically, winning team wins that. In the national championship, Alabama beats Michigan 24-27, 10-0 at halftime. Both teams score in the third. Alabama seals it with seven in the fourth quarter. 14-0 for Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Michigan, rip. It's okay, though. Most people lose. Everyone lost to Bama this year. Alabama almost doubles Michigan with their yards, beating them on the ground, through the air. Both teams with two turnovers, though. Very interesting. That's not really usual. And we scroll down here. Alabama, of course, with the time of possession battle and 21 penalties in this game as well. So, CPU, not chill. We do see Smith, for the season stats, 3,300 yards, top 11 in the country, Heisman finalist. Congrats, my man. We love seeing smaller team quarterbacks just kill it, kill the game. Smith rushes for 912 yards, top 100 in the country. You see three 2,000-yard rushers, though, and one of them being from Hawaii. When did Hawaii become a running team? Someone tell me that. Bennett, 20, almost, okay, 1,250 yards on the season. What a connection. Over a third of the receiving yards for Louisiana Tech this year. Beast mode. Lawson, 28 solo tackles. Nothing to write home about. Baker, three and a half sacks. Nothing to write home about. Robertson, three interceptions. We do see Terrell up there from Clemson with 11 interceptions. What? That's crazy. And, of course, for our NCAA kicking leaders, we see Hale, good from 51. If you want to be an elite team, you have to have an elite kicker. 36th best in the country, but 51 will get it done 99% of the time. So, congrats to him. That's going to be it for me. That's the 2019 season simulation for Louisiana Tech. If you liked the video, please like it, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.